Hey guys, Vladimir here with Desktop Makes with another Fusion 360 tip for you today. This one's gonna be short and sweet and it has to do with a little trick you can use to quickly align an object's midpoint uh, horizontally or vertically. All right, let me show you what I mean. We'll go ahead and start with the sketch here. I'll choose the ZX plane and I'll draw a circle on the origin just so we can see it a little better. Now, let me just quickly give some background here. Let's say we start with a uh, sensor rectangle. A sensor rectangle is really the easiest thing to align because, you know, it has a center point there. So if I wanted to align this uh, vertically to be in line with the circle, I would simply choose my uh, horizontal or vertical slash horizontal constraint, choose this point, choose that midpoint there, and there you go. It's perfectly aligned. Uh, let me move this out the way and let's grab a two point rectangle instead. So we'll go to sketch. Uh, rectangle and create that two point. Now, usually when I create a two point rectangle, there are cases when I regret it because I think, oh, I should have made this a center rectangle because now it's going to be easier or it's going to be more difficult to constrain it. So usually what I end up doing is, let's say I want to align this the same way I did this one. So it's uh, aligned uh, within that midpoint there. Uh, normally what I would do would be to create a line, let's say a line going diagonally here take that line, make it a construction line, and then go here, grab a point, put that point right there, and it'll snap to that midpoint if I'm in the general area. Now I can grab that horizontal slash vertical constraint, choose my origin here, choose my midpoint, and it'll go ahead and align into place. Okay, so like I said, normally that's what I do, but I found a quicker way to go about this. So let's grab that two point rectangle again, and we'll go ahead and create that here. And let's say we want to align that. What we're going to do is grab our same constraint here. We're going to choose our point there, our origin. And all you have to do, you don't have to draw a line and then put in that point. Um, just hover generally in an area of the line. You want to find that midpoint and press shift. So it holds shift and that midpoint constraint will appear and you can just click on it. And there you go. Save yourself like two or three steps and it just improves that uh, workflow, creates it, you know, makes it a little bit faster. Now this works with lines as well. So if I create a line here, I want that to be uh, aligned through the midpoint. I'll just grab my constraint, grab that point, go to my line and hold shift. And there we go, that midpoint appears and there it is. Um, it also works with slots. So let's do a center to center slot here. You know, all I have to do again, same workflow, grab that midpoint, uh, hover over here, hold shift. There we go. Now this even works with text. So I know text can be a pain with fusion and especially trying to get it aligned. Um, so this can really come in handy. So let's go to text and go ahead and create a text here. Uh, we'll do desk top makes. Uh, sometimes depending on the plane you chose, your text can come upside down. So let's just flip that. And so normally I'm trying to, you know, align this, just eyeball it. Um, but you know, there's a more accurate way to go about this. Let's just put that text there. I'll click OK. I'll grab my horizontal slash vertical constraint and choose. I can grab any one of these points here and then hold shift and then find or go in the general vicinity of that midpoint there holding shift it'll just pop up click on it and now my text is aligned okay that's it that's the quick tip for today like i said short and sweet but it's one of those tricks that are nice to have because it just makes your workflow a little more efficient if you found that helpful and you enjoy these quick tips, hit the like button and subscribe for more tips. And if you want to learn how to get started with designing with Fusion 360, check out my website at desktopmix.com. I'll see you guys next week.